a worst case scenario right now, moving right into millions upon millions of people. They're calling it Frankenstorm. This is going to be in biblical proportions. This hurricane may be the biggest storm of my life. It's going to rank as one of the most expensive storms. Governor O'Malley has just been on. Sandy, it could be this year's Halloween horror show. If you live. We're bloody heavy rain and maybe even snow. Whoa! Just what shivering people in New York and New Jersey do not want to hear tonight. Another storm is heading your way. Somebody in the world has to do something. They are really, really in trouble. Hurricane may be the biggest storm of my life, and I'm really scared to see how it might turn out. We don't really know how bad this storm will be, but considering that 70 people have died as a result of it, the next 24 hours may take a toll for the worst. I just think people are worrying unnecessarily. I don't think it's going to be as big a deal. I think people should be prepared, but not worried. Happy birthday, Sarah. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I'll take mine out. I want to. All right, Sarah, give me your plate. Tommy, bring your right on. You know what? This is going to be an epic proportion, this storm is, but biblical proportions. And my problem is, people are not prepared. You don't go out the day before the storm and get ice and batteries and flashlights and generators and extra gasoline. This is what you have on hand. You shouldn't be worried about things like this. If they were a Girl Scout or a Boy Scout, they would know better. I was prepared. I've started making ice. I have everything I need. I have extra batteries in a Ziploc bag in case we get flooded. I have a radio with a hand crank on it. So you don't need batteries. I'm prepared. Think the rest of my neighbors are? No, they're out running the roads trying to get supplies in. I know, it's, like it's it. big and chunky, but yeah. with you leggings and a black like top or something. I like that. You're smart. Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. You're so smart. Auntie Marie. <laughs> we go for Auntie Marie. <laughs> Would not have thought of that. Sarah might have thought of that. She's pretty. F M. T G. Thank God it's Monday. If this track comes true, it is the worst case scenario, John. Now, we still have days to go. It was a Category 3 major hurricane overnight, so it rapidly intensified within hours. Take a look at the latest track. As you can see, Category 2 moving through the Bahamas. It hugs the coast Friday into Saturday, but look at what happens as we head into early next week. The worst case scenario right now moving right into millions upon millions of people. And this could cause extensive catastrophic damage. I'm not just standing here making this stuff up. I want people to really pay attention to this because again, this could be worst case scenario. Things are really starting to, to point to the idea that this is going to be a record breaking storm. Um, but the, the coastal flooding will will likely be worse in places than, than it was during Irene. Um, the storm um, Sandy is expected to retain its strength 
uh, northward, um, which Irene did not do. If you remember, it kind of fell apart once it hit New Jersey. And in, in those people in New York City were kind of wondering, you know, why do we have these mandatory evacuations when the storm was over in about, you know, 12 hours? But upstate, you know, Vermont, um, the Catskills in New York were really devastated during Irene with a lot of fresh water flooding. Sandy, it could be this year's real Halloween horror show if you live along the East Coast. People are calling it a possible Frankenstorm. We'll have the details right here. my birthday today and I woke up to the noise of heavy rain and heavy winds. The more I learn about the hurricane and the more I see outside, the more nervous I'm getting. I just hope that no families are affected or torn apart by Sandy. Hurricane Sandy could be a major storm or it could be a minor storm, but nobody really knows for sure. We pretty much get a hurricane every year, so I don't really know why everyone is so worked up about this one. I'm not saying that Hurricane Sandy won't cause a lot of damage, but it's not going to have a historical impact on our country and leave it in ruins. I do think that Hurricane Sandy will pass by and after some cleanup, we'll be back on track. I'm glad the electricity's on, but we really should make use of the time we have with it. And there's no better use of our time than watching TV. The thing that makes me pause and uh, makes me a little nervous is the fact that I have heard many of the weather experts say such things as, I can't find any words, um, I'm at a loss for words, uh, I've never seen anything like this, and now this looks like it's going to be of epic proportions and people could be in, stuck in their homes with trees down on their roofs or, uh, you know, big gouts in their house with really with uh, the uh, people, the rescuer for folks not being able to get to them and having no electricity and being exposed to the elements. This uh, entire thing of concern is that uh, it's the unknown uh, part of it, what it could be. They keep calling it a monster storm, the perfect storm, the snow uh, type of northeaster meeting a hurricane and uh, what that can do. And of course, it's going to be right over us here. So obviously, uh, we're all a little bit nervous. The news loves to make everything seem a whole lot more, a whole lot bigger than it seems. I mean, to capture people's attention. And I think that because of that, Baltimore County is absolutely freaking out. And I just don't think that it's some, I don't think that the storm is something that we need to be this prepared for. I spent an hour yesterday bringing in furniture and it was just not the best part of my day. I think that depending on the damage you suffered for, from Hurricane Irene, you should be taking different precautionary measures. Like here in Baltimore County, I think that only the people who live in the sort of the valleys where you, where you know that you get flooded a lot, I think that those people should be more worried about it than people who live in higher up areas. If you weren't affected by the flooding that came from Hurricane Irene, you shouldn't be worried about the flooding that goes on here. And the people on the coast should be more worried because they were hit harder by Hurricane Irene. Honestly, I don't think that Hurricane Sandy is going to be much different than Hurricane Irene. Yeah, I can get my room done and I'll have so much room left. Put stuff back in here. 
here and she goes here, Bear? Why would it say she says it? She just has it there. Ready? I'll tell you, I'm happy to have Facebook because with Comcast down, we have no other way of finding out what's going on with the hurricane. So it's perfect. Everybody's updating. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. It's uh, the evening of Hurricane Sandy, and uh, it's being billed as a major storm. Looks pretty bad out there, a lot of rain, a lot of flooding. Depends how high the winds get. We've had Isabel before, where power was out for, uh, I believe, eight to nine days. And Irene, where power was out five to six days. The good news is we have a generator. I've checked everything with it. It did the test run and was on within three seconds. So. We're prepared as we could be prepared. Hopefully this will not be as bad as they're saying it's gonna be, but it looks like a pretty big and bad storm. As you can see, it's really even hard to stand here. The winds are, they're flash flood over there. It's hard to see, I know, but it's really cold. It's really wet. You can see what's going on a little, but yeah, I'm in the front. It's really loud because of the wind. It's eight o'clock watching a movie to await the hurricane. We still have full electricity, but anything could happen in the next few hours. I guess will be Maryland and Governor O'Malley has just been on and reported that uh, they are extremely grateful for uh, our not getting hit directly uh, as badly as they thought, but very, very um, compassionate about uh, New Jersey and New York. Our neighbors to uh, the north of here are the ones that got the, the worst of this storm. So we're all here in Maryland very grateful for uh, having uh, been spared, but we certainly are uh, very, very compassionate in our thoughts and prayers for everyone else. Other than the loss of the pier, uh, I know there's a lot of uh, down in Ocean City, and there is flooding even down in the harbor area in Annapolis, and, and uh, um, can't think of the name of the other place over on the east that's gotten flooded, but... Uh, we're uh, very, very lucky here. We don't even have a lot of branches or trees down, but I have heard that there are some trees down over in Westminster. Very grateful that it didn't get any worse and hasn't, and I think it's pretty much moving past us now. Uh, although they say into tomorrow we're still going to have a lot of rain and a lot of clouds, but it looks like it's brightening a little bit right now. So, feeling, feeling very grateful and hopeful. Just what shivering people in New York and New Jersey do not want to hear tonight, another storm is heading your way. The region may get hit again with a nor'easter expected by Wednesday. Senior correspondent Rick Leventhal is in Brooklyn tonight. One week after Sandy, some 1.4 million homes and businesses in the Northeast still have no power. A real problem as the temperatures drop near freezing. Somebody has to help us. Somebody in the world has to do something. Okay, we shouldn't be like this. This is not right for us to let this way. U.S. Marines have joined National Guard troops distributing aid and helping residents begin the massive cleanup effort. 
The death toll is well over 100 in the U.S. alone. And for those who survived the storm, frustrations are high. The first couple of days we were okay, and then the looting started, and then it was one house, another, and then we all started, the anger started to boil. Many coastal towns are still off limits to residents because of dangerous conditions on the ground. And in some communities like Long Beach, New York, recovery is a challenge with no heat plumbing, or safe drinking water. This was tough for Long Beach. No one's seen anything like this, whether you're 70 years old or 20 years old. In New Jersey, utility crews are making some progress restoring electricity, but more than 700,000 customers are still in the dark. And the storm created a mess for commuters, long lines for limited trains, ferries, and fuel. Gas rationing restrictions are in effect in New Jersey. Drivers with license plate numbers ending in even numbers can only buy gas on even number days and odd plates on odd days. And another storm, a nor'easter, is on the way. We have established a National Power Restoration Center. Get this power back on, try to keep it on, even as we look at another storm.